start. What up? Happy New Year! Yeah! Welcome back everyone and first of all I want to say Happy New Year. It's been a blast. I had so much fun. I hope you did too. Uh, but also I did a lot of thinking what to do this year about uh, creating new videos. And also I'm just about to kick off with my marketing plan at my job, which I described in an earlier video. Uh, but one of those parts is very important actually and that's what I'm going to jump into today is one of the most important things uh, when doing marketing well there's actually two things that are really important the first thing is creating a marketing calendar so that you'll know what to do at what month uh, and the second thing is sticking to that calendar actually uh, executing that calendar so today I'm going to show you what I did at the company I'm working for and if you're an experienced marketer then this might be pretty basic for you but if you're new to marketing and you're starting your own business or doing marketing in general and you want to learn how to plan your year and how to actually do that in a good method and how to decide what budget it's going to cost uh, then this is a good video for you. So I'm going to jump into my computer and I'll show you guys how I did it uh, And I hope you learn from it Okay, so as you can see we're into my computer and I opened an Excel spreadsheet You can also use Google spreadsheet whatever you want to use uh, By the way before we start this template uh, I'm sharing with you guys in the description so you can check it out But it's a really easy template and you can actually just copy it and make it for yourself uh, but what we see here is actually the months of this year, so 2019. And basically the first thing you want to be doing is writing down what you have to get done this year. Uh, which is, for example, I want a company website. I want to do social media, I want to do Google AdWords, I want to do social media ads. Uh, and I want to do a monthly newsletter. Well, these can all be categorized into online. These are online activities. Well, below you can create your own categories, uh, choose whatever you want. These are the ones that I find most useful, but maybe for your company or the business you're working in, you have other categories, uh, but you can fill them out here and make sure to color them. Um, but yeah. So now you see that and you just write down all the uh, things you have to do and then just uh, put them in a category and then you're good to go. So what you do is, all right, so I need a company website. I probably need that pretty early on in the year because I want people to be on my website. And if I start doing that in Ju July, for example, it's just not useful. So what you do is you drag it to January, but there might be more task within that uh, realization so into getting a company website maybe you first need to create create the website and then after that you need to fill websites with content so now you have two tasks the first month you'll be creating the website and the second month you'll be create you'll be filling the website so that's it for website. Then we go to social media and you can do the same. Uh, I first want a website before I even start using social media because maybe I want to link them to a website or something like that. And before uh, using social media, you need to create the account. So create show, oof, social media accounts. That's a step and after that you might start actually doing social media, social media posts. But maybe you need a social media calendar first so that you know what to post at what week. So you say create marketing, uh, sorry, create social media cal calendar. And then after that you might start uh, social media post and then you do that monthly what the fuck? all right so now we got this and you pretty much get the point and we can jump to other categories as well just for an example uh, maybe uh, when I'm doing marketing I want some products or service information flyers so that I can bring that to potential clients 
or I can share it on a website so people know what my product or service is about. Uh, this is into the category of design because you need to make it, you need to make it look good, you need to maybe print it out. Uh, but yeah, if you want to create that, I wanted to do that in January, for example, I put it here. And as you can see, you can just fill this in for yourself and I will do that. I'm not going to show you all the things, but I'll do that right now. And then we come back and then I'll show you what to do and how to calculate your budget. All right, so we skipped through and I filled everything in. Uh, this is an example, by the way, this is not the actual thing I use for the company I work at, but that's pretty private. But for now, you see, we filled it in. Uh, probably you will have a lot more points to do in a month, but this is just for an example. So now at the, at the bottom, you have a tab called budget. You can create this for yourself. And what you have here, basically you see the categories you have coming back uh, and then it's actually pretty easy with the months so you look at January so in January for online we want to create a website so but to create a website you might need domain names and this costs something maybe it's a monthly fee or a yearly fee uh, but this might cost uh, around $150 in January so you put that here uh, then I see I need to create a flyer and I need to create a company logo. Company logo, I, I might do it myself, but you might invest in it because you can't do it yourself or don't want to do it yourself. So let's say for now we're going to let someone else create a logo. This might cost like a thousand uh, bucks. So logo uh, in January is going to be one thousand bucks. You see the general point, uh, same goes for product flyer and what I actually call that is printing because you might have flyers, maybe you need a customer case, uh, maybe you want to uh, create a brochure, uh, something like that and you can have general uh, printing costs for that so I'll throw it under one name just to not make it that messy inside of the file uh, but we know we have two uh, one printable thing so that's going to be around uh, fifty dollars um, second month in February we see business cards and customer case so that's gonna be like 100 uh, and then what's really important is don't just guess the numbers what I'm doing here, uh, but actually look up how much things are going to cost. Uh, and in the end, uh, you will have uh, a pretty accurate picture of what things are going to cost. And then uh, another example, which is the last one, uh, call center. I might uh, want to have appointments with potential clients or people I want to sell to, uh, but I don't want to do the sales calling myself. So I might hire a call center. So if I put that here, the call center is in July. So in July, I'll have a cost of $10,000 to call people. And then in the end, you will find your marketing budget for this year. Uh, and what you can do also is once you filled it all in, uh, you might discover that some things are like really costly and you might do things differently. It's pretty much an eye-opener as well. So here I would think, okay, so a call center costs $10,000. Why don't I just call myself and just spend the time in doing that? And maybe then it only costs me my telephone uh, bill, which is like $50 a month, which is a lot less than 10,000. So you can really uh, try to get the budget that you're after. Uh, if you don't have a lot of money, try to find ways to do it cheaper. But in general, it's a good method to find out what to do and what budget to ask to maybe your boss or manager or just to find out how much money you're going to spend yourself. Or maybe for your own business, you want to find investors or maybe get a bank loan. Well, this is the budget you're going to ask at that bank or investor. That's basically it. The template is in the description and you can do it for yourself. This is pretty basic stuff, but I can imagine that if you're just starting out, you just skip this part and start doing. And it's actually really important to be fi Ooh. to think on beforehand. 
it's actually really important to think on beforehand uh, what you're going to do this year uh, and there's a strategic thought about it because uh, it's really just not effective to just start doing stuff and then also realize oh my god it's cost so much money I spend a lot of time in maybe uh, getting a call script for the people who will call uh, but then I realize it's 10,000 bucks and I'm not going to do that. So it costs you time and you'll lose that time. So it's just very effective. That's it for this video. I think it's a short one, which is nice for this time. Uh, and yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if this is something if this is something you want to see more in the future so like really general basic marketing stuff or if this is stuff you already know and maybe you want more advanced stuff just let me know also hit a like if you made it to the end of this video because it will help me get ranked uh, and if you like my face if you like what i'm doing if you like my videos and you want to learn make sure to subscribe because it will make me very happy I'm growing quite fast which is really weird because I said in a previous video that I would stop focusing on numbers uh, but somehow it has the uh, opposite effect so I'm growing really fast and I want to thank you guys so much for that I'm really happy uh, I'm feeling a lot more better uh, now that I'm creating the things that I want so uh, that's it for this video I will see you guys in the next one and probably it's gonna be some kind of vlog again because I really want to improve that and it's just really important to do that when you're creating on YouTube so see you guys in the next one <laughs>